As the world keeps changing, today it's fully driven by technology in all areas of social, political, and economic structures. Taking a look at the African continent, technology is being adapted at a very fast rate, and this makes the continent one of the fastest growing markets for technological products. In this video, we look at the five best African tech companies that are making a difference on the African continent. These are African startups that were created for African solutions, and we felt it wise to shine a light on these African companies. These are not in any form of chronological order, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone that would love to learn more about the African continent. Flutterwave is an African company that was established in 2016 by co-founders Olubenga Agbola and Eirolua Aboyeji. Flutterwave is a payment service that supports over 150 currencies and it accepts payments from over 68 payment gateways. If you're an African and you're in this online space, then you know how hard it is for you to process payments on payment gateways such as PayPal. This is simply because there are many restrictions to receiving and also sending money using the platform to the African banks. So this is where Flutterwave comes in to provide a solution and basically bridge that gap that has been existing for a very long time. The service has helped many freelancers to process their payments directly to their mobile money accounts or even to their bank accounts. So we believe that Flutterwave, which is an African startup, is that company to take Africa to the future. Jumia is undoubtedly the biggest e-commerce company on the African continent. The company was established and founded in 2012 by four big brains of Jeremy Hodara, Tunde Kehinde, Raphael Kofi, and Sacha Poinonek. Today, Jumia has operations in 10 African countries so if you sum up the entire African continent, it has over 10% of the African market. So this goes to show you exactly how big the company is on the African continent. Among these countries, we have countries like Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Kenya, Uganda, and many other countries. Jumia as an African startup revolutionized the e-commerce industry on the African continent. And as years go by, they've shown everyone that it is possible to thrive on the African continent. No wonder other big companies like Amazon have decided to set foot and also invest on the African continent. Now, if you're behind news, Jumia went public and it offered its shares to the public. It's currently listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Now for the business part of it, Jumia allows vendors to sign up and start selling products on the platform. And as we said earlier, it operates in 10 countries. So if you're an African or anyone on the African continent and you would like to start making money on this platform, we created an entire course that basically takes you from A to Z to show you exactly how to make money 
on this platform so we'll be leaving a link in the description for you to check out that course and maybe this might be something that changes your life for better M-Pesa is a mobile money service that was established in 2007. M-Pesa basically stands for M which is mobile and Pesa which is money in the Swahili language. M-Pesa is the pioneer mobile money service on the African continent. The service was adopted by two African telecom giants and that's Safaricom and Vodafone. Many thanks to M-Pesa that now Africans in over 10 countries can send and receive money right on their mobile phones. I remember the hardships back then that if you needed to send money to your parents maybe in the village, you had to use a courier service or else give this money to someone to help you deliver to your parent but with the introduction of M-Pesa the service has helped is the way of doing business on the African continent. It is currently in countries like Kenya, then Lesotho, Ghana, Mozambique and many other African countries so definitely this is one of those African ideas that has changed the African continent. After M-Pesa, many other telecom companies adopted the mobile money service and it basically solved all those problems that were associated with banks such as waiting in long lines, then exorbitant charges and also the time you spend transacting. Now with mobile money, you can sit right in the comfort of your home and be able to transact from one point to another. Aerobatics is a company that was founded in 2014 by co-founders Benji Meltzer and James Patterson. The company has its headquarters in South Africa and basically what it does is use artificial intelligence to provide solutions for agriculture on the African continent. The AI technology is embedded into drones to come up with images that are used to detect early the pests and diseases on farms. Now, if you didn't know, 90% of livelihoods on the African continent depend on agriculture, so Aerobatics thought it wise to come up with technology that is used to save farmers from making losses on their farms that results from pests and diseases. The company is based in South Africa and it is spreading out to the entire African continent. Main one is an internet undersea cable company that has enabled interconnectivity amongst Western African countries, North African countries, and Southern African countries. The company was established in 2010 and its current CEO is Funke Opeke. Main One has its headquarters in Nigeria, but it spans throughout West Africa, Northern African countries like Morocco, then other West African countries like Ivory Coast, Ghana, and many other countries. The company has made it possible for co-creation hubs across the African continent to basically be able to afford internet connectivity on the continent. 
this has enabled many other startups to be able to start doing business on the African continent because of this cheap internet that they do provide. With all these companies mentioned in the video, they all have only one thing at the back of their mind and that's a better Africa in terms of technology. They've created solutions that are tailored for the African continent. We hope this video helped widen your way of thinking. Maybe you'll be the next person to come up with technological solutions to African problems. Let us know where you're watching this video from and for more of these videos on Africa, like, subscribe and share this video with someone who wants to learn about the African continent. Thank you so much for watching. Watch more here to learn about Africa.